if you are an incorporated business owner in Canada, then contributing to the Canada Pension Plan is a negative return on your money. And by the end of this video, I will show you all the necessary facts as to how you can avoid contributing to the Canada Pension Plan and stay away from this tax trap. My name is John Mokler, and I'm the founder of Mokler Wealth Management. And for the best advice on how to protect you and your family, subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification so you'll be notified when we launch a new video. As an incorporated business owner, you have a couple of choices as to how you pay yourself. You can either pay yourself a T4 salary or a T5 dividend. And what I'm recommending here is you should avoid paying yourself a T4 salary. And we'll walk through a couple of PowerPoint slides to show you why. So here are the slides that I'd like to run through to show you that contributing to the Canada Pension Plan or CPP is a negative return on your investment if you're an incorporated business owner. So as a business owner, you have a choice as to how you pay yourself. You can pay yourself either a T4 salary or a T5 dividend or a combination of both. And what we're recommending to you is that you should never pay yourself a T4 salary and here's why. If you pay yourself at least $60,000 or more of a T4 salary each year, you're paying double into the Canada Pension Plan. You're paying both the employee and the employer portion. And if you do this over a 30 year time period, you've contributed between six and $7,000 per year or 180 or $210,000 over that 30 year time period. And what we're saying is you will never get 100% back of what you jointly contributed into the Canada Pension Plan. So let me give you two options. Would you prefer option number one where you do contribute to the Canada Pension Plan and in retirement you receive 264,000 or 292,000 that's 100% taxable on your personal tax return and upon your passing there's no estate value for your beneficiaries? Or would you prefer option number two where you have $418,000 in retirement and it's either tax preferred or tax free money and upon your passing there is an estate for your beneficiaries. Well the annual maximum CPP right now is $13,900. The average Canadian gets a lot less than that but let's use that number. The life expectancy for the average Canadian male is age 84 and for a female it's age 86. And so in your retirement, you're either going to receive $264,000 or $292,000 from Canada Pension Plan, but it's going to be 100% taxable on your personal tax return. And what happens if you die early? Well, obviously you're going to get less money because you've passed away, but it does roll over to your spouse. But then upon your spouse passing away, unless you have children that are dependent upon you, the CPP is gone forever. So what if you didn't have to contribute to the Canada Pension Plan? Let's crunch the numbers. So let's take that $6,000, instead of putting it into the CPP, let's put it into a conservative portfolio, earning an annual rate of return of 5% net of fees. And if we do it over that same 30 year time period, you'll build up a bucket of $418,000 in retirement, and if you put this into a non-registered or cash account, it's only 50% taxable on the capital gain. And if you put it into your tax-free savings account, it's 100% tax-free money in retirement. And so now if you pay yourself a T5 dividend income instead of a T4 salary, you're actually exempt from contributing to the Canada Pension Plan. So now you are in control and you get to withdraw the money on your terms. And when you pass away, it does roll over to your spouse and upon your spouse passing away, there is an estate for your beneficiaries. So again, I'd like to ask you, would you prefer option number one, where you're paying yourself a T4 salary, you're contributing to the Canada Pension Plan, and you're receiving 264,000 to 292,000 in retirement, it's 100% taxable on your personal tax return, and upon your passing, there's no estate value, or would you prefer option number two, where you pay yourself a T5 dividend salary, and you either have 418,000 of tax preferred money or tax free money in retirement, and upon your passing, there is an estate for your beneficiaries. And so the conclusion here is that contributing to CPP is a negative return on your money. Let's return to the main video. So as you can see, after crunching the numbers, you will see that as an incorporated business owner, contributing to the Canada Pension Plan is actually a negative return on your money. So if you'd like to learn more about how you can incorporate this type of planning into your own comprehensive written financial and retirement plan, click on the link below to apply to become my client. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, 
subscribe to my YouTube channel and share it with a friend. And always remember, when we develop financial plans for our clients, we always make sure that their money outlives them in retirement.